Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abels from Kinetic Health. We're going to go over a myofascial release of the diaphragm. This is an incredibly important area to work on. Most people totally ignore this or think that this isn't that significant, but they don't realize how this is related to back pain, hip pain, pelvic floor dysfunction, a wide variety of problems, even digestive problems, problems with uh, if you're having constipation, all sorts of different issues this can be related to. Okay, so first of all, we have to consider where are we working here with this exercise? So if we take Mickey here and we kind of look at the lower part of the ribs here and kind of draw a line across here and then go to the sides on both sides, right down, why don't you touch your pubic bone there at the bottom here, Mickey, right down to the bottom here, all the way up. Now on the front, we know the diaphragm connects up in here and then at the back, it's back right about the lower lumbar spine here. Now, why are we going to cover such a large area when you might say, oh, my diaphragm's up here. It's kind of shaped like a dome. So what has this got to do with the other areas? This whole area connects together to make a large canister or a large envelope that contains your internal organs, but also a lot of fascial connections, muscular connections. Our abdominal muscles connect right into the diaphragm. Hip flexors at the front, they go from the behind and connect in right into the back of the diaphragm. All different areas coming together and converging. So we're going to see how we can release this whole area. So let's divide this myofascial release into three components. First we'll do the front of the body. And what we're going to do, just turn to the side here a little bit, Mickey. We're going to work our area right across the front of the diaphragm. We're going to have Mickey go straight down and lie in the ball. But what she's going to be doing while doing this is coming across and basically working the entire area here. Then working down into the abdominal area, down her rectum abdominal the front and then down the obliques on the side and working all the way down right to her pelvic symphysis there, right down, and then coming back up. Okay, so as you see, this ball is really soft and pliable. Do not use a hard ball on this. It'll be very painful and you want to be very careful not to do that. Okay, so why don't you take that and lay on that. Okay, and when we first start doing this, we probably want to just use a little bit of compression first. And a great way is just to lie on the ball. So just stay in one position for a second. We can't find a comfortable spot. And then focus on your breathing. And really slow, deep breathing. Okay, how's the feeling on there? It's a definitely a different feeling. Okay, can you drop on there a little bit with your elbows too, or is that... Okay, but you can control the amount of pressure on the ball just by changing the weight of your elbows. How's that feeling now? That's actually pretty nice. It's That's pretty nice now? It's starting to ease up a little bit? Yeah, it is. Okay, so first we're going to take a bunch of deep breaths, maybe four or five breaths in one area, and then we'll start getting a little bit of motion there, kind of moving from side to side on that. Okay. How's that feeling now? It's a lot easier. Good. So we do one side of the diaphragm, and we stay in this area for, oh, maybe 15, 20 seconds, something like that, and then we'll slowly shift it around until we get to the other side, moving from left to right. Okay, more in the center there. How's that center area over there? That's, That's a little already, more difficult. Right, the bottom <laughs> of the sternum as you go down there, you, you've got an area uh, which is very, very uh, tender called the sci-fi process. So you've got to be a little bit careful over that area there. Why don't you move it over just slightly a little bit then to the lateral part. Okay, good. Is that a little bit easier? Yeah, that's a little okay, easier. Okay, good. How's that feeling? That's now, you can go side to side, but we can also start moving in patterns, in circular patterns, clockwise, counterclockwise, Okay, how's that feeling now? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely areas where it's a little bit tighter and, mm -hmm. and some other areas where it's a lot easier. Okay. The thing is to you know be very slow with this, very methodical, and coordinate these motions with your breathing. Is that feeling okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so once you spend a bit of time up in the diaphragm, start working down in the abdominal muscles. And just move the ball down a little bit there. Good, good. Take it down. All right, and you can actually go directly over your belly button there. Mabel, how's that feeling? A little more tender? Yep. <laughs> yeah, most people it will be. And you're gonna find certain areas of restriction. Spend the time either starting out with compression, deep breathing, and then a little bit of lateral motion with counterclockwise or clockwise motions in there. Good. That feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, take it right down to your pubic bone right on the edge of your pubic bone, and just lie on that for one second here. Okay, how's that feeling right there? Is that very tender? A little, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit tender. Now, when you start going down the middle abdominals, you've got abdominal muscle called the rectus abdominis, 
and then you have a muscle called the pyramidalis at the bottom there which connects into the bone of your pelvis. If you stay in that area, do some deep breathing, you're going to find you're going to release some of the fascial connections in that area. So be really gentle in this area, get some compression, a little bit of lateral motion and circumduction. Working all around the entire abdominal area, right from the top of the diaphragm, right underneath the chest here, right down below, all the way each side, and right down to the base of where your pubic bones are. In the next section, we're going to address the lateral structures of the body, moving right along the outside of the ribs. Now, this can be a very sensitive area. Again, make sure you have a very soft ball here. If you have a hard ball, this just is not going to work at all. We're trying to protect our internal organs. At the same time, we're trying to release the muscles, the fascial structures, everything that connects into the diaphragm. Okay, let's have you lie on your side here. Yeah. I'm just going to set this ball down here. Good. About that area there. Okay, how's that feeling on there? That's good. That's really all right. nice. So, why don't we get some lateral motion in there? Actually, start compression. Just stay in that spot. So you stay there for maybe 20, 30 seconds, deep breaths in until you feel a bit of a release there. How's that feeling on there? That's good. That's okay? Yeah. Doesn't hurt? Not at all. Good, good. Okay, so we're there for 20, 30 seconds, and then we'll start getting a little bit of lateral motion in the area. Okay, how does that feel? That's really nice, actually. Yeah, that seems to be releasing right between the ribs, the intercostals. Yep. Yeah. Good. Do remember, all of these structures connect into the diaphragm. You have direct fascial connections that go there. So this is going to help to open up the entire central area of the body. That's really good. Excellent. Okay, now that we've done myofascial release for the front and the lateral side, we need to address the posterior of the body. But when we're doing this, we need to consider not just where the diaphragm connects down into the lower part here, but we have to say everything above and below that point myofascially, our fascial system, connects into all of these structures. So we actually need to work a larger area to release the diaphragm. So that's why I want you to refer to our myofascial release videos using a foam roller, or we have some that we use tennis balls for general mobilization. Some of these videos we've actually taken tennis balls, duct taped them together, or we use lacrosse balls. These are very effective videos at releasing these structures. We're also going to show you right now, though, one specific thing on how to release the lower part using the soft, squishy ball. So, I want you to lie back here. And go ahead and just take the ball and just lie back in the lower part there. Good. Okay. And that should be quite comfortable watching laying in the ball there. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? It feels nice. Good. So, we take it from one side to the middle to the other side. At first, we're just using compression. Deep breaths and letting the area actually release. After we've been on there for 15-20 seconds, then we start getting a little bit of lateral motion in there. Good. How's that feeling? That's nice. Yeah. Do you feel like it's actually quite easy to breathe in that position? It is. It feels like I can get a deeper breath in. Good, good. Excellent. So make sure when you're doing these exercises that you address every side. Anterior, lateral, and posterior. These are great exercises for opening up the diaphragm.